What's up investors, it's Mike from MJF Invest. Today's video is gonna be about Metro Mile. But before I get into that, please hit that like button. An early thumbs up really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. It's a young channel and I'm really trying to grow. These videos do take some time. Also consider subscribing to the channel for future content. Uh, we cover growth stocks, ETFs, penny stocks, basically any way to uh, exploit the stock market and make money. Uh, so if you wanna be a part of a channel like that, please hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that bell notification so, you know, so you're notified when I upload a new video. Uh, it's also be noted that I'm not a financial advisor, so you should be doing all your own research, and it's ultimately your decision whether you want to buy or sell any of the stocks I talk about on my channel. Let's talk stocks in the comment section. Uh, Metro Mile is a pay-per-mile auto insurer. Uh, the company was founded in 2011 and is led by company CEO Dan Preston. It has reached a merger agreement with a special purpose acquisition company, Insu Acquisition Corporation 2, with an equity valuation of $1.3 billion. Metro Miles said it was able to raise $160 million in private investment in public equity, which is PIPE, in an investment round led by Shamath Palapatia's firm Social Capital. Existing investors, Hudson Structured Capital Management and Mark Cuban, as well as new backers Miller Value and Clearbridge participated. Metro Mile will have about $294 million in cash at its closing. Looking at Metro Mile, right now they're trading under ticker symbol INAQ. Insu Acquisition Corp, they, they, they've had SPACs with Shift and Paya. And Intermex in the past, so I like to see that. Uh, so I feel like you know these these companies that have experience with SPACs and have taken some pretty good companies public. Uh, that makes me feel good that this is a nice, safe investment. Also, having Shamath Palapatia leading the pipe, you know, investing in a SPAC, you need the deal to go through. So you got to look for indicators uh, to make it make me feel safer before I do that. So Shamath. And I believe Mark Cuban also invested money in this company. That makes me feel confident that, that, deal, that this deal is going to go through. Also, we're looking at the Visionary Technology Experience Leadership Team. Dan Preston, he's a Harvard University graduate. Uh, he also attended Stanford University, so he's a real academic. Very sharp guy. Listen to a couple interviews with him. Make sure, you know, he's, he really, it's very obvious that he's um, a big time CEO. Start with per mile insurance, uh, which allows low miles. Absolutely. Yeah, so Metro Mile is a true digital insurance company. Um, start with per mile insurance, uh, which allows low miles drivers to save money with their auto insurance. Uh, it's all enabled through a device, so it has all this sensor data that we're using to create a true per mile insurance product. And what's been really exciting over, uh, especially the last 12 months, uh, is we've been thinking really deeply about what's most important about that product experience. So when you have a claim, typically you spend a lot of time on the phone with an insurance company, you'll answer a bunch of questions, uh, and we've been really focused on how do you make that as seamless and simple as possible for your customers, um, and ultimately let them benefit from the savings that they have, and that we are able to then offer them a customer experience that instead of having to wait for days or weeks, we can instantly improve those claims. So there you have it. That's how it works. And where the auto industry is headed, I think Metro Mile fits in absolutely perfectly. Just watching them talk. Uh, Dave Friedberg is also on the, um, the founder and executive chairman. He has experience with Google and the Climate Corporation. You got Paul Anderson from Uber, Jim Hushcroft from Progressive. So they have some experience in the auto insurance industry. I like to see that, you know, this has all the makings for a very big time investment. Uh, the investor presentation shows auto insurance is unfair to most customers. Linear relationship between miles driven and expected losses. 35% of drivers drive more than half the miles and cause more than half the losses. Drivers are assigned to class and all charge the same rate. Within a class, there is a wide range of miles driven. 65% of drivers overpay for auto insurance. What Metro Mile aims to do they offer what no one else can, insurance you pay for only when you use it. They are a data science company. They are focused on auto insurance and they are the world's leading digital insurer. With $111 million Q4 expected revenue on premium run rate, 76% average annual growth from 2015 to 2019 and forecasted earnings in 2024 of $1 billion on insurance premium rates with $48 million 
estimated for enterprise software revenue. They have 2.8 billion miles of data collected, which is very, very exciting. So they've been around. They're already a profitable company. So you're not investing in like a pre-revenue company. I mean, this company is out there doing it. They're already the number one digital insurance company out there. A couple of reasons you may want to invest in this company early on is it's a massive, inefficient market. The incumbents are largely markets with inequitable product offerings. There's a unique customer value proposition. 65% of U.S. drivers are safe. So their average savings are about 47%. The data science driven economic advantages is a unique database and data science powers, top line growth and profitability. It's industry, industry leading unit economics. It's profitable insurance operation today with expanding margin profiles. Scaling rapidly through proven channels. It's taking market share with unique acquisition models and significant insurance revenue upside is a large market and high profit margin sell funds growth for many years ahead. Significant enterprise software revenue upside. It's best in class enterprise software solution already deployed and scaling rapidly. Metro Mile claims it's a massive fragmented market. It's a $250 billion US personal auto insurance market with 700 billion global auto insurance market. There's a $363 billion US PNC personal insurance market and a $1.7 trillion global PNC personal insurance market. And there's no US carrier that has more than 20% of the market share. Over 110 carriers with greater than 100 million in premium per year. So there's 110 auto insurance companies out there right now with greater than 100 million in premium per year. Metro Mile is aiming to disrupt that. And it's the only data science company in the world that's focused on auto insurance, which gives them way better products. It's personalized per mile, behavioral pricing, customer lifetime value, predictive maintenance, parking ticket avoidance, it claims approval, automation, and fraud detection. And what initially introduced me to this company was a tweet from Shamath Palapatia. It said, Buffett had Geico. I picked Metro Mile. The company announced today that it is going public via SPAC, ticker symbol INAQ, and I led the pipe. This is an incredible company disrupting car insurance and giving customers a best-in-class experience. And he attached a one-page thesis paper. Uh, the paper, I'll just give you a summary of the paper uh, briefly. It says, insurance is an important enabler of economic growth and represents hundreds of billions of market cap. Pricing insurance is antiquated. Data is now proliferating in ways that should change pricing and risk. We need to move from a world of static, approximated rates for large groups of people to personalized dynamic rates for individuals based on their own behavior. Insurance startups are finding scale through online acquisitions of customers, better risk-based pricing, and more effective servicing of its products. These inefficiencies of pricing and go-to market are creating an innovator's dilemma for incumbents. Sees a lot of potential uh, with this company. I do as well. Uh, that's what introduced me to them. Now, now that I've done some research, I like this as a long-term investment. I'm going to add this to my long-term speculative portfolio. Uh, I wouldn't advise just to go ahead and buy any company that Shamath Palabatia is involved in. I've passed on several investments uh, that he was involved in, uh, but this kind of fits into what I am looking for. I, I invest in a world, the world that I see, this, the world that I see ahead of me. Uh, that's what my long-term portfolio is. It's how I view the world, how I think the world is going to be a decade from now, you know, five years from now. Uh, so, so Metro Mile is a part, is, is a company that I want in that portfolio. I think this company will have a lot of success uh, going forward. Um, I remember reading the ARK Invest Bad Ideas report, and, and, and a big focal point of that was when they were talking about autonomous cars and robo-taxis specifically disrupting the auto insurance industry. I had that information for a couple of months now, and I just never knew exactly what to do with it. And when I started to research Metro Mile, it, it, was, it hit me in the face. That's what you do with the information. It, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're still watching, thank you so much. Please hit that like button. Also subscribe to the channel for future content. Drop a comment, let me know what you think. Did you like the video? Did you dislike the video? Uh, 
is Metro Mile a company that you're uh, interested in investing in? Thanks for watching, guys.